I'm being thing. forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So, so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why sir, don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit no. me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. We're sir, not criminals! Please. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Why are you sleeping? Oh, man. You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, You know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Tomo, Wisconsin, where we find a woman with a couple of active warrants, as well as her boyfriend has a couple of active warrants. And when police arrive to serve the warrants, the woman decides she doesn't want to be arrested, so she calls her local Walmart, makes up a story about a man with the gun, and then lies to police officers about making the 911 call. Unbelievable! You can't make this stuff up, folks. Sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy. She's on the phone, and I saw her right here. It looked like she was gonna maybe go into that branch. Now it's at this point that the woman becomes nervous realizes she's about to be arrested but doesn't want to be arrested so she calls 911 to report a man with a gun at her local Walmart hoping that the police that are there at her residence will leave to attend to that call how stupid can you be let's carry on 911 what's the location of your emergency um I just got a call from my daughter she's at the Walmart and told me she said there's someone in there with a gun Okay, and what's he doing with the gun? She doesn't know. She freaked out and ran in the bathroom and locked the door. Did she get a description of him? Um, he said he was a white guy, short, blonde hair, black pants. Okay, and how did she know? How did she see that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. She just called me. Okay, me hold on. Hold on one second. Okay, and how did you describe him? She said he was short and white. She said blonde hair, glasses, and black pants. Can you get the information from the daughter and find out if... Now here's a picture of the woman that just made up that fairy tale. Why in the world would you do that? Now, believe it or not, she's going to deny the entire thing when questioned by the officer. She really needs help. Yeah, there's something wrong with the person that would make up a story like that and then deny ever saying anything about it. There's something really wrong with her. They walk among us. Be aware. Open the door so I can talk to you, okay? I don't want to break your grandma's door, okay? But I will. Okay, hold on, okay. Tiffany. Who is this? What are you Hi. Doing? Are you yes, what are you doing? 
It's I'm, a cop. What do you I'm want? I'm here talking with, with her. Come on in. Don't have the door open. All right. What are you doing? Well, she's got to come with us. we got some questions for her. What do I have a felony warrant? Oh, I didn't go sign my bond. Correct, but you also have a Jefferson County body only warrant. Which is what we're paying right now. Okay, it's body only, it doesn't have it's a bond It's body only associated. for child support, but if she, if I pay $1,000 to child support, I have the email, I'll show it to you. Send it to me. Is your, the card connected to Apple Pay? Is it connected to Cash App? Actually, it's connected to Facebook. No. Okay, 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 just, just give me the card number and I'll call and pay it myself. Grandma's right here. I'm sorry. I've been trying to handle this shit. I forgot about my war my bond completely. I just talked to my lawyer this morning. I didn't know Justin had a warrant. Okay. We didn't even... Well, there's a lot wrong with this woman's life. She's living in Grandma's house. That's number one. And then she's paying child support? Ah, I haven't heard of too many women paying child support. I mean, I know they're out there. I just, you know, you don't hear about it very often. And now she's trying to pretend like she didn't know there was a warrant on her or her boyfriend, Justin. Oh, dearie me. What else can we pile on top of this poor woman to make her my life miserable today? Oh, oh, stick around and see. By the way, what happens next is that the dispatcher calls the police officer and advises that Kaylee, the person we're looking at, just called 911. And now the dispatcher calls her back. Did you call 911 a few minutes ago? I might have been on accident, not on purpose. Okay. Do you have a daughter? Uh, yeah, my daughter lives hours away, though. Okay. Is she at Walmart? My daughter's in... My daughter's who called you and told you I was here. Okay, but why did you call 911 and report? I didn't say... If I did, it was not on purpose. I bet you've seen me on the phone in here calling people. I didn't see you on the phone. I was standing outside. I was trying to get a hold of her. I was calling a million different so people. So why did our dispatch center receive a 911 call stating that she received a phone call from her daughter who was at Toma Walmart and said that there was a man that walked into Walmart with a gun? I have no idea. What? I have no idea. Oh, that, this no. is getting ridiculous. No, 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 no. Okay, you can say no, 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 no all you want, but that number that keeps popping up on your phone is my dispatcher calling you. I was wondering you. who the number was. Yeah, that's the number that called because okay. you called from this number. Okay, can we go talk in the kitchen for a second? So listen to me for a second. Okay. No, no, put the phone down. I want okay. you to listen and pay attention. Okay. Okay. Now, did you hear what this moron just said? Oh, if I called 911, it was by mistake. Really? And that 60-second conversation, that was all a mistake too, right? Making up about the man with the gun, a white man wearing glasses and, and black pants, and that was all just a mistake, right? You must be really stupid. Now listen to her explanation as to why that happened. While we were here, you were inside refusing to come out. Yes. Okay. You were allegedly making phone calls. Okay. Which I have. Why, why did you call 911 and report that somebody was at Walmart with a gun? Mm, well, I was told that, but I was in a hurry. I, I didn't even do it. I, to be honest with you, I've had about five minutes of a blackout since you guys have been here. I okay. remember nothing. Okay. So back so up. If I did, Let's back up I, to when we when we knocked on the door and made contact with you. you I was were, on the phone with Justin. And you knew Justin. the police were here and we were going to come in to arrest you. Yep, I was on the phone so with Justin. why did you call 911 and report that your daughter called you to report that there was a man at the Toma Walmart with Probably a gun? Probably because I was panicking. Okay. Do you know that that's a crime and that's called swatting? No, I did not know Yeah, that. that's something that to elicit a large police response to a location... I assume you probably did that believing that we were going to take off. No, and we I, were just to be honest you with here. you, I have a lot of fucking... I'm not in my right fucking mind. Now that's the first thing this woman said that made any sense to me at all. She's not in her right effing mind. No doubt about it. You are so stupid. You really are. Look at you. Oh my god. And she has a daughter... That poor daughter is going to grow up to be just like her mama. Okay. I'm just freaking out. I keep, my grandma can't be here by herself. I didn't okay. know what to do. And then I You didn't just, know what to do, so you thought you'd call 911 and make a false report. I didn't know what to do. I called 911 and I was going to say something. And then I was talking to my daughter on the house phone and she starts screaming at me. Where's the house phone? In my room. Well, it was in my room. It's in the living room now. There's one right here, too. Okay. Does that show the recent calls? 
No, it doesn't do anything. That phone fucking sucks. Sometimes my grandma will go to call and it won't go out. It works when it wants to. And I'm not lying to you. You can go ask my grandma. She'll tell you. Okay. It works no, when I, it wants I, to. I'm not worried about the, the phone working. I'm more concerned with the I'm fact sorry. that... I'm sorry. I don't even know listen, what... I'm more concerned with the fact that you called 911 yes, to report idiot. that somebody was at Walmart with a gun. Okay? That elicits, one, a large amount of resources to respond to a place. Two... It's a false police report, okay? Yes. You're inciting panic. Yes. Pardon me, officer, but this woman doesn't care. She just told us. She's out of her effing mind. She had a blackout. And she's got too much on her plate. Clearly, she can't live among us. She doesn't belong in our society. Perhaps you have some accommodations for her at the local jail cell. Is that a possibility, officer? Okay. And three, it's a crime. I'm sorry, I didn't... I don't even remember doing it. I don't even remember shit. I'm sorry. I just, I wish I could tell you I remember doing it, and I don't. So you don't remember dialing 911 and then talking to a dispatcher? I have it on my call log. Okay. It was not even a full minute. Okay. That was a pretty short conversation, according to my dispatcher. And then my aunt called me. Mm-hmm. This is my boyfriend. Is that Justin? Yeah. Okay. So 125, can you talk for four minutes? Yep. Okay, so go back. And then at 130, so five minutes later, a full right, five minutes. As soon minutes, as I got off the phone. As soon as you got off the phone, you made a one minute phone call to him, to 911. Okay, you might be doing with the gun. Did she get a description of him? Um, he's a uh, white guy, short, blonde hair, black pants. At this point, the officer is playing back the recording that this moron made to 911. And she's so absorbed with her cell phone, she doesn't realize that the officer is replaying the recording. Like I said, there's something wrong with her. She doesn't deserve to live among us. She really doesn't. And this is the scary part, because people like this get in automobiles. And that makes it twice as dangerous to driving a deadly weapon. Could be you they run over. Who knows? Hey, is, is Justin in the garage? Car? No, Justin's not here. You're positive? Cause I'm positive. His... He gave us permission to check the yeah, property. Yeah, you can check the garage. He's not here. Hmm? Yeah. I was watching that call on the way over, too. That back shed doesn't open! Well, can you follow me outside so I can talk that short, at least? No, we're going to sit right here until they get back in. It's locked. From the inside? inside. Yeah. There's a bed on there. 10 for just so you're aware, we are at the garden shed in the back and it is locked from the inside. Oh dearie me, the shed is locked from the inside. Now how could that be possible? That's what little Kayla was doing earlier. She was texting her boyfriend Justin while that 911 audio recording was playing. That's why she wasn't paying attention. She says, honey, the cops are here. Lock the door, batten down the hatches. What a stupid woman this is. Oh, these two are perfect for each other. So he's in that back shed? No, we haven't been able to get in that back shed for years. My kids used to play back there. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I had Austin Jones was living in that shed last I knew. Is anyone in there now? No, nobody's been in there. I kicked Austin out when he robbed my neighbor's house. Here's they left a whole fucking trail of shit. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I, ha I don't go back there. Okay. I haven't been back there since I kicked Austin out. I don't know. I have not been back there. Okay. Justin and I were in an argument this morning, and when I was in the garage, when he said his dad picked him up and he left, he texted me. He said he was with his dad. I can show you the message. Yeah. I haven't been back to that back shed. I don't go back there. There's a light on in there, too. It's like a little lantern. On so I don't know that he's here. She made several phone calls to him while we were in there, or while she was in there waiting on us. Uh, I would lead me to believe that he's in Minnesota. Yeah, I'm not here, but this door's locked from the inside, and there's like a bed in there and shit. <laughs> so somebody's in there. Sheriff's office. So what do we have here? 
the unemployed buffoon living on his girlfriend's grandmother's property in a shed. Oh, man. I wonder if he collects food stamps and welfare, too. What do you think? Whoever's in the shed, come out now, or we're coming in. Who lives in this back shed? Austin Jones was the last one back there. Austin Jones? Austin. Is he currently back there right now? Because the door's locked from the inside. I have no idea if he's back there now. He was supposed to come Austin this morning. Jones. We've got a shed back here that's locked from the inside, and the property owner gave us permission to clear all of the buildings. All right, we're going to make entry in this back garage with permission from the property owner. Hey. Austin Custer and he's got a warrant. That's who Austin Jones is his alias. Austin, you in there? No, I'm not Austin. Who are you? My name's Justin. Turn around. Justin? Justin. Turn around. There Justin, is. look at that. Yeah. Turn around. Turn Get around. on your knees now. Get on your knees. Yeah. Hands on top of your head. Yeah. Interlock your fingers. Is there anybody else in there? No. Jillian. Justin lied to me! Now the crazy woman is inside her grandmother's house pretending to have another nervous breakdown and not knowing anything about what's going on, all for the sake of the grandmother, of course, because you can tell that this woman's off her rocker. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's uh, smart as a fox, no doubt. Anybody else in here with you? He told me he left! Is that true? Did she know you were here? All right, just send it. Do you have any weapons on you? No. No needles? No needles? No. All right. Okay. Back up. I'm going to fix you real quick. I'm oh, sorry. You good? Stay in there. Nothing on you? No. What property do you have on you? Uh, just your wallet, phone? Phone, money, some glasses. sunglasses. All right. I'm going to double lock these real quick. God, why the f*** you don't f***ing lie to me all the time? I'm just trying to make my mom's funeral tomorrow. Well, man, you... And then I was going to tell going to turn myself in the, cool. the, after my mom. I told my PO that same thing. Seven, two, one, row. I was trying to make it to Minnesota to my mom's funeral tomorrow. All I have to do is make it up tomorrow and I'll turn Entry myself made. In. I have Justin detained. You want to confirm that 99? You living back there, bro, or what? You just crashed in K there. Kaylee, Kaylee, stop. Stop. Kaylee, you need some psychiatric help. You're a compulsive liar. I think you're a bit of a narcissist as well. Hmm, could be a sociopath too. Yeah, look at that face, the face that only grandma could love. I wonder what happened to her mama. Her grandmother had to say, yeah, mama probably fed up with her garbage and grandma felt sorry for her, took her in. No, I didn't. Figure out where that aunt is coming from and then detain her. I'm being told by my sergeant that we're just going to go, all right? I can't hear you. Okay. She knew you were here and didn't leave. She's just covering for you. I understand that. So right now, I'm just going to put your phone on the table. I'm going to be standing up. Okay, walk over to me, face the window, and then have your hands behind your back. Can I put a sweater on? We'll just go like that, and I'll bring a sweater. Can I just hit a... Can you hit that button for me? Go ahead and hit whatever you want to hit. What are you doing? Probably one of the few well, I have to go, Grandma. I have to go until Jefferson clears my warrant. It was paid. I showed him. I paid it and everything. Justin was hiding in the back shed. He was back there now? Yeah. You can ask my grandma. We were fighting this morning. He told me he left. I have the text. Yo. I'm not used to wetting other people's noses. Well, Grandma, I got a snot hanging from my face. There's some hanging from my hands. Can you help me? I got snot hanging from my face. So, all of you walk to the front of my squad right here, 27. Well, now I can't speak for the police officers, but I'm not interested in snot hanging from your face. I'm not your mama, and I'm not going to wipe your runny nose, girlfriend. And your poor grandmother. You're doing this to your poor grandmother. How old is she? Probably in her, what, 70s or 80s? Yeah, you, know, you really need your ass beat. Maybe somebody down there in jail will do that for us. All right, nothing on you. No bombs, grenades, anything like that. Do you want to help walking? Are you going to be able to make it? Warrant, I think swatting. I don't know what else he may be adding. Right. Which the ones uh, swatting, I think is class I. What is it? Swatting. 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 Calling 
places and eliciting an emergency response. Ah, <clears throat> oh, doesn't she look cute? Yeah, she got charged with bail jumping and swatting. Oh my goodness. Obstruction, false emergency, 911 call. Oh, she's a real choir girl, isn't she? Oh, uh, little Katie was released on a $2,000 signature bond. And by the way, her boyfriend Justin was remanded to the state of Minnesota for felony warrants. How lovely! Well, there you have it, folks. The perfect couple. They're made for each other. They're both a couple of liars. And why would you be living in that shed in Wisconsin? That must have been cold in there. Even if you had a space heater, that would have been bloody cold. At any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. Oh, you assaulted She assaulted me. Oh, no. Yo, you're racist. Katie. Racist. Oh. oh. That's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Oh, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You're going to jail? Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Really, no reason I'm really, to have... I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. You were arrested for trespassing yeah, in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You, you just me? assaulted me, ma'am. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yihala handula. Alu akbar. Hak nuikan da kra. Ula wala fufatai.